Hey, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see in the title, I've called this video, your health and safety is more important than football. So if you're a football fan or if you're any sort of fan and you've been pretty bored over the weekend, just remember that we are now dealing with a very, very serious situation regarding the coronavirus, which is an invisible disease. If you don't know too much about the coronavirus, there's plenty of information on the direct.gov website. I will stress that I'm not a expert on the coronavirus whatsoever, but I'm here to maybe give some advice to, you know, some of my subscribers, the viewers who are watching this right now. The coronavirus is killing people worldwide. It's not just killing people in the UK, but it's killing hundreds of thousands of people across Europe. Obviously, it started off in Wuhan, China in December of 2019. But it's got across Europe and uh, it's finally hit the UK where I am based and many other of my subscribers. And some of my subscribers are you know, around Europe and uh, they're really in a panicky situation. And uh, my advice uh, on this video would be to think again uh, when it comes to football. You know, life is not around football. It shouldn't just be based around football and other sports. It should be around looking after yourself, looking after your own health and safety, looking after others around you, if that means your family or older people who are maybe in their 60s, 70s, 80s, if not 90s and beyond. Also looking after those with, you know, a disability who can't, you know, do a lot in terms of what we can do if you don't have a disability. It's important to, you know, unite as a nation and to you know help and support one another that is the most important thing you know when it comes to football football should always be down there rugby basketball anything like that it should always be put you know behind you because for me when you're talking about a disease which can kill people your life is more important than you know a game of football football will be back when it needs to be back and uh, I'm going to give my whole situation on, you know, the football, what's going to happen in terms of the Premier League. Give you like a little bit of advice as well in terms of um, this coronavirus as well. But before I talk about the football, I'm going to talk about maybe, you know, what's been happening obviously over the course of the weekend. The last time I dropped a video was the Premier League and the AFL and many other major leagues around the world have decided to cancel all football matches until the 3rd, 4th and 5th of April. Now, of course, there's no guarantees that this is going to come back to life again, the football on the 3rd, 4th and 5th of April because the coronavirus in the UK hasn't quite hit its peak yet. And I don't want to scare anybody when I say that. It hasn't because, in my opinion, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And this is where you need to you know, listen to the government of the UK if you're from the UK or listen to your local government where you live. Also, taking all the necessary measures that you have to. Obviously, make sure that you're keeping yourself safe at all times. But at the same time, making sure that you you know follow uh, the correct procedures in terms of common hygiene. And um, hearing the news over the weekend, you know the the death rates in the UK have just risen. As I speak, it's now at thirty five. You know that is not loads compared to other countries such as Italy and France, but it will get there if we don't do anything about it. If we continue with these bad habits and we continue not to follow the instructions of what the government and what the news are telling you on the TV, then for me, it will get worse before it gets better. And um, I think people need to take this coronavirus with seriousness. I'm not saying anybody should panic. We need to do the right things in order to help you and help others out in this situation where you know, if we don't, it will get out of hands and we'll get to the point where we will be feeling sorry for ourselves at the end of it. But what I want to say is basically along the lines of, first of all, this weekend I'm seeing things of people going to shops and uh, they're getting loads of toilet rolls, they're getting loads of, you know, hand sanitizers, they're getting loads of cheap things, you know, such as tins and etc. And there's nothing on the shelves and People are being very inconsiderate. Yes, they're panicking because they believe that in a couple of weeks it could get worse, this coronavirus, and shops could be, you know, empty with nothing to sell at all. But the government has reassured us in the UK that there will be uh, stock available for everybody to buy. But what I will say to those guys who are buying loads of toilet rolls, 
loads of hand sanitizers and loads of food. Just remember that food, right, has a sell by date and you don't want to spend loads of money. And by the end of it, think, oh, I've spent too much and it's out of date and waste your money. Only buy what you need to buy. That's going to keep you and your family, you know, keep you going. That's what I'm looking for for the rest of the this situation regarding the coronavirus in the UK and obviously around the world. You need to be a bit more considerate to others as well. Like, you know, if you're going to buy hand sanitizer and you're going to buy bog roll, etc. That's toilet roll if you don't understand that. Buy a couple, you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to buy toilet roll and hand sanitizer, buy a couple. At least then there's some for others to get because you've got to remember as well that there's those who are very old who can't get to the shops like others can. And, you know, they're panicking. There's, you know, older people without food. And I find that really... Uh, heartbreaking because you know older people don't have the energy like we have you know to get the necessary essentials that we need and i think it's important that if you are going to get a lot of things what i will say is make sure that's for older people as well you know help other people out you know people who maybe if it's your next door neighbor or people around you who you know kind of get places maybe knock on the door and ask them you know do you do you need anything from the shop help them out you know what i mean big or small it's going to mean a lot to them but also i've seen a lot of people uh, in corner shops where they've walked into big supermarkets, bought toilet roll, bought hand sanitizer, loads of food, and they're selling it on for more. And I think that's absolutely fucking disgusting. And I'm sorry for my bad language, but it is like you don't, you know, buy sort of nappies, toilet roll, hand sanitizer, food, and sell it on for more to make other people's lives a misery when we need it more than you. Be more considerate, that's all I'm going to say uh, on that situation because we are in a very, very, very serious situation and uh, I'm taking my football head off because for me, it is about survival. This is a game of survival in this country and uh, we will uh, get through this together, you know, as you know, British people and um, the only way we're going to get through this is not panicking but to be a bit more considerate and to follow the guidelines and what I will say as well is if you're eating food, if you've been out and about, make sure that you're going to wash your hands at the end of it. Please, please, please use common hygiene. Wash your hands at all times because at the end of the day, you know, if you don't wash your hands, you've got a very, very good chance of catching something like a sickness bug or the coronavirus. And that is a real fact. You know, it's straight up talk. If you don't wash your hands, you could catch something You know, like a sneeze, a cough. Do not touch your mouth. Do not touch your eyes. Wash your hands as soon as possible because for me, I can't stress that enough. And that is the reason why this coronavirus is spreading. I don't want to blame anybody for what's happened. You know, we'll talk about that, you know, when we get to it. But the point is, the less people that wash their hands, the worse it's going to get. And the worst it's going to get in terms of our country going forward. You know, that's why things have been, you know, closed down like the football. That's why we haven't got anything, you know, going ahead because... Common hygiene just isn't there right now. And obviously the death rate at the minute is 35. Is it going to rise? Possibly. I don't want to say too much because, you know, 35 for me is enough. And at this moment in time, I'm talking Sunday, uh, the 15th of, you know, March. There's meant to be another meeting with the Prime Minister with what's going to happen next in terms of how we go forward as a country. Um, there's going to be a ban of large gatherings. I mean, for me, that should have been done a lot earlier. Um, that's one thing I will criticise the government for in our country is we do things far too late. And uh, look at what Italy are doing. Look at what Spain are doing. Look at what France are doing. Look what Wuhan, China did, you know, when the outbreak first came about. They decided to close their borders and they decided to put the countries on lockdown. As harsh as that may sound, I think it's the right thing to do. But in terms of... Uh, of the football which I now want to come on to at the end of the day there's been arguments of that people are bored people don't really like the idea of not watching sport but remember there's more to life than football you know there's more to life to give than watch a game but you know football football will come around when it is the right time to do so and in terms of the Premier League the Championship all the other major leagues starting back up again on the 3rd 4th and 5th of April there's no guarantees that it's you know going to come back that quickly. There's obviously talks with UEFA of maybe moving the Euros until 2021. In my opinion, it would be the right thing to do. So it means we can get the season to its conclusion. 
I'm not a one of that the season should be null and void. I think the season should come to its conclusion if it means we play in June and July. Of course, there's going to be talk of you know, players' contracts, but in my opinion, do the common sense thing and extend it for another month because of this situation regarding the coronavirus or however long it takes. If the season ends in July, it ends in as late as July, you know? We need to try and find out what's going to happen in terms of who's going to you know, win the Premier League, which we know it's going to be Liverpool. Obviously, this moment in time, they're nailed on to win the Premier League. And uh, obviously, we need to know what's going to happen in terms of Champions League spots, Europa League spots, those who you know could potentially you know get relegated and stay up. You know, Villa could have a massive say. They've got a couple of games in hand, I believe. So, for me, you know, you've got those in the Championship, like West Brom, Leeds, you know, who could get promoted. You know, people are talking about maybe extending the league next season to 22 teams. But, you know, whatever happens needs to happen in the right way of taking things to the level in which it needs to be at. You know, if, if we need to null and void the season, then so be it. But I would still give Liverpool the league and just go with the positions of the clubs where we're at. If that's what we'll have to do, that's what we'll have to do. We don't have to say in the matter. You know, it's the it's those higher up, you know, of the the government, you know, the the, the FA, the Premier League, EFL, etc. We don't have that say as fans. But um, we need to wait and see uh, what happens. For me, it's not, like I say, it's not about football. You know, I absolutely love you know, football, I love doing me content on YouTube. And I know a lot of YouTubers are finding it hard to get content out because obviously there's not much to do now with the time of being no football. But for me, I don't want to just get content out for the sake of getting content out. I want to, at this moment in time, I want to take this coronavirus with the real importance that it needs, like in terms of we need to, I need to get the information out to you guys, like as, as, a, as a YouTuber. Uh, to maybe update us, but like I say, I'm no expert on coronavirus whatsoever. I will stress that, but you know, just use common hygiene, look after others around you. If that means your friends, your family, uh, older people, and like I say, when it comes to buying food, make sure that you stock up enough, but don't buy too much that you don't need. And like I say, make sure that you're being considerate to others around you as well, and don't uh, take the piss because when you take the piss, people not only in the shops will lose respect for you but people who find out on social media as well and uh, it's been going around you know i've been seeing it and uh for me my health and safety is more important than a game of football and um yeah like i do wish everybody you know safety i wish everybody you know a safe and speedy recovery if you do have the coronavirus or if you've got a case of it you know please 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 self-isolate don't be selfish if you have got the virus do not spread it to other people because for me, you're just making the situation worse and we don't want to make the situation worse where, you know, more people in the country are going to get it. We want to try and ease the situation. We want to try and tackle this together, you know, as a nation. And uh, we do want to try and get things back on. But we'll have to wait and see uh, what the Prime Minister says tomorrow. That'll be Monday or today, whenever you're watching this. Uh, Boris Johnson, the UK Prime Minister. And... Um, yeah, like if I find out more information on the football, etc., I'll try and keep you up to date over the week. But like I say, um, yeah, like your health and safety, my health and safety is more important than, than football, than anything else. And uh, yeah, please, please, please follow the right procedures and uh, do it with uh, real caution. P please stay vigilant and make sure that you um, are vigilant, should I say. Make sure you, you you know watch the news and make sure that you stay up to date with all the latest information regarding the uh, coronavirus as well and um i wish everybody um whoever you are watching this video um you know real safety and uh, we will uh, pull through this together so if you are new to the channel please subscribe and uh, like i said i do apologize if this co is coming across as negative but for me it's not about football you know it's about um my health and safety and your health and safety and like i say if you're watching this Try and spread the word, you know, across to maybe given of us who don't know too much about the coronavirus and need a bit more of a guidance uh, just to make sure they're washing their hands and just to make sure that they're supporting, um, you know, their families and those around them. So, uh, yeah, just a 15 minute video on this whole situation regarding the coronavirus and what it's doing to sport events. Yes, I know Premier League, etc. are going to lose money, but for me, money should be swept aside. It's about the well-being of other people. So, like I say, if you are new and you support your castle or if you, you know, enjoy football and you want to see the, the football back of course please subscribe please uh, follow my social media 100% NUFC 
on Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.